Education is really important to our family. Both from families who put a high value on learning and loving to learn. Even though we came from really different backgrounds, we both ended up at graduate school at Yale. We live a couple blocks away from one of the best private schools in Denver. But we wanted to go a step beyond that. What else did we want for our son? I grew up in the inner city in a school where there were not a lot of opportunities. You have to do your very best with what you have. We would have never considered a private school. Walking into the doors the first time in St. Elizabeth, it didn't look like a private school from my perspective. At some level, somebody said, everybody should have access to this type of education. The poorest of the poor, the richest of the rich, there should be an opportunity for you to excel. We had this huge ripple effect that goes out and out and out. You know, we are connected. If you look at your breakfast in the morning, where did your eggs come from? The roads that we take, these have been made by people. You know, all of these hands that had a part in taking care of us. My name is Ramsey Stabler. I was one of the happy handful that started the school back in 2005. One partner is going to be here, the other is going to be here. We've become very segregated in Denver. That's not where we should be going. The way the world is looking, there is a lot more inequality, and what that's doing is creating friction points across the world and in our own communities. For our kids, that is going to be a very big issue of their time. And if you're fortunate enough to be on the side that has resources, you know, what's your role going to be in looking at those around you and what you do about it? My father literally grew up in a mud hut in northern Ghana. Because they were poor, they couldn't afford education for everybody. My father says that his sisters were actually the smarter ones in the family. It's just that he had the chance to go to school. In our family, you know, we see that it's not just about people's backgrounds. It's about the opportunities that they're able to have. There are eight of us living at my house. My mom, my dad, my cousin, two sisters, and my two little brothers. My mom and dad, even though they struggle a lot working, because I've seen that, they still want us to like get our homework done first or make sure our grades are the best first and then help out the house. My dad, he's from Mexico. He had to stop school at sixth grade, and he had to work to maintain his family. Real acts, yes. My dad taught me to work hard. And he says that if I work hard and if I get good grades, eventually I'm going to be able to rest knowing that I worked for everything I have when I'm an adult. I'm proud to go to St. Elizabeth's. It's a really fun school to go to. As I go to higher grades, it's harder. And more, my parents are just like, I didn't learn that until high school. <laughs> Brooklyn, our oldest, actually started in public school. We had teachers that were coming up to us saying, Brooklyn is a little bit more advanced than some of the other kids in the classroom. and She would say, I don't want to go to school, it's boring. I didn't want to start her school years off like that. <laughs> Us to have this opportunity to come here and have her being challenged is key. So we normally wouldn't be able to afford um, a school like St. Elizabeth's. We pay tuition, but it's affordable for us. Walt McCoy, our founding head, came up with this unique model of our three-thirds. One-third low-income families, one-third middle-income families on a sliding scale, and a third of our families pay full or close to full tuition. Every family who comes here pays some tuition, and they pay their fair share that is in alignment with the income that they have in their family. Everyone here is opted in to being here, and everyone believes in education and inclusivity. 
And with that, it creates an environment that feels safe to experience those differences. I really do want you to be doctors, public defenders, artists. I want you to be teachers. I want you to be the best construction person on the planet if you choose to be. But I really count on you to go out there and make changes, confront the status quo when it's needed. People are just being educated differently today, and they're being exposed at a, at a different level than I think ever before. Those are the opportunities if we're intentional about wanting to move forward. When we were growing up, I feel like we were limited as far as our dreams. Like, if we jumped too much out of the box, reality would bring us back down to, that's just too far. I see my girls with no limitations, no holding back with what they vision themselves to be. It is amazing how much learning is going on, how much friendship is being shared. It is the mission that brings us the great families, the great kids, and the great teachers that come together and make this community unusual and special. That's our job. <laughs>